Another one on the books for UFC 290, which is going to be headlined by Brennan Moreno versus Alexander Pantoja 3, as well as Alexander Volkanovsky versus Yair Rodriguez, which looks like it's going to be the main event. We also have a middleweight title eliminator fight between Robert Whitaker and Dreykus Duplessis. These two are in fact going to fight each other. Hamzat's not involved. Paulo Costa's not involved. I don't know why Hamzat's not fighting Whitaker, but at least we're going to get Whitaker versus Duplessis, and the winner of that is 100% officially going to get the title fight against Israel Adesanya, which pretty much means we're going to see the third fight between Whitaker and Adesanya, because man, Duplessis wild. He can make things happen. He's powerful. He goes to war. And even as he gasses out, he's still dangerous. He doesn't really have much for Whitaker, though. Like, unless he just catches Whitaker with a puncher's chance, it's going to be very tough for Duplessis to beat Whitaker. He's so wild when he goes forward. He's very aggressive, and he has his chin up in the air. Whitaker can counter him all day. The jab is going to be one of the biggest weapons for Whitaker to intercept Duplessis and just touch him on the chin consistently. And the thing is, Duplessis gasses out pretty quickly in fights, where we've seen him gas out after one round before. We've seen him gas out after the second round before. And this fight can be very similar to the way Whitaker beat Derek Brunson. Extending the punches forward, chin up in the air, and Whitaker keeps countering him with his left hand. Or even potentially in this one, with his right hand after luring Duplessis into that punch. And if Whitaker wants to take the fight to the ground, I think he's better there too. Very tough fight for Dreykus Duplessis. I do expect Robert Whitaker to not only beat him, but finish him probably in the second or third rounds. And then get that third fight with Ezra Adesanya to establish who actually is the best fighter in the weight class. Because the second fight between them two should have arguably have went to Whitaker. And this dance between these two guys is going to continue. Nobody's really able to get in between them besides Alex Pereira. But now that Alex is up at 205, I mean, Whitaker and Adesanya are just going to continue to dominate this division. They're probably going to fight each other a hundred times. But I do think this may be the last time they fight each other. Unless Whitaker beats Adesanya... And then Adesanya is going to get yet another immediate rematch. Not only is Adesanya beating all the contenders, so is Whitaker. If you look at the rankings right now, number one is Robert Whitaker, number two is Marvin Vittori, three is Jared Kennanier, four is Paulo Costa, five is Dreykus Duplessis. Both Adesanya and Whitaker beat everybody in the top five, and everybody else under that doesn't make any sense to fight Whitaker or Adesanya. And what it shows is that the middleweight division desperately needs a new up-and-coming contender, and maybe it's Bo Nickel. Maybe Hamza in the mix is going to shake things up, but it looks like nobody else is drawing that kind of interest. So we're riding on Bo Nickel and Hamza to do something a little different here and get in between Whitaker and Adesanya or ahead of both of them. And that UFC 290 card is really looking good. They also announced Robbie Lawler versus Nico Price, Jalen Turner versus Dan Hooker, all on that same card. So it's shaping up to be a banger, very important fights throughout that whole thing. A lot of Oceania fighters on that card with Volkanovski, Whitaker, and Dan Hooker. It should be a good one.